Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel with me is a what guys if you have a Lincoln guys MKX and you have front end noise guys coming through uh, from the front end when going through potholes or bumps on the road guys you definitely feel it like uh, like a rattle. Stay with us guys we'll, we'll show you what causes that and how to fix it. It's a sway bar link guys. We'll explain how it needs to be replaced and uh, what causes what causes that rattle. So in the meantime guys we'll have more than 200 videos on this car. Please guys subscribe to the channel for more videos and let's go ahead and start on it now. So we have guys the wheel removed, you can see on the front left side, front red will be identical. Always use guys jack stand, don't rely on the jack itself. Now let me explain where the sway bar link is located first. Okay this is guys your sway bar link, okay this right here, this is your sway bar, this is the sway bar link connecting the sway bar to the control arm. Now when they go bad guys, okay right here and the one on the bottom, they will develop a play. Every time you go through a pothole or a bump on the road, you're going to uh, have a play here that will cause a rattle guys. And uh, you definitely need to replace those because if they get wore out too much, they can pop out and your car can be extremely unstable with the sway bar not engaged. So we'll show you guys how you need to replace that now. We're using Interphone spray guys, okay, penetrating spray, this is really really good stuff. We're going to spray some, okay, right here on the bolt, on this side, and some on the bolt, right here on the bottom bolt. And we'll explain to you guys how we need to remove that thing now. You can see on the inside, okay, you have guys, okay, you have a now and wrench that you can hold the inside bow of the bolt, and on the outside guys, okay, there, okay, with a 18, 18 millimeter box wrench. So, let's explain you guys how you do that now. We get the box wrench in. Okay, perfect. We're going to hold it, hold the bolt with the almond wrench there. All the tools and parts guys that we use will be listed in the description of the video below guys. So please check it out. Okay, everything will be listed in the description of the video below, guys. Including the replacement parts. So, you can see, it definitely starts getting loose. Now, we don't have any resistance on the sway bar. Why? Because we have the front left and the front right side lifted in the air at the same time. If you just jack one side up, you have resistance on the sway bar and you will need to use a pry bar, okay, to decompress it so you can get the bolt out. Okay, now it's spinning, you can see the bolt is spinning, so we have to hold it, guys. Otherwise, it will be freely spinning and we will not be able to take the nut off. Okay. This is it. You can see, practically we are almost done here. Now we need to come and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, on the bottom bolt. Again, if you jack your car on jack stands, on the front left and front right side, you will not have any pressure on the sway bar. However guys, okay, if you just jack one side up, you will need to use a pry bar here to bring that sway bar up or down so you can adjust it and get that bolt out. So, we are now guys working on the bottom one. We are doing the same thing like we did on the top. We need to remove that nut now. Alright okay, guys, so we are removing the bottom one now. The bottom nut and once we remove it guys, we will continue with the next step. Alright guys, so we're removing the button nut now, we're towards the very end. Okay, the wrench slips a little bit. Okay, it should be out any minute now. Okay, came out guys. Okay, on this side. No. Okay, check it out now. On this side, it will be a little bit stuck. 
So what do we need to do? We need to get the pry bar, okay, and we need to bring bring that uh, sway bar down a little bit, okay, so we can get it out. So either up or down, guys, okay, just a little bit, okay, you can see with the pry bar. And this is, guys, the sway bar link. What is causing your vibrations, guys, and your rattle? Okay, it's loose, loose joints right here, ball joints. So you can check out guys in the description of the video below where we get our replacement parts from and we'll show you guys how to put it together now. So we get the new sway bar in guys, okay, and we need to go ahead and install it now. Okay, we'll need to go up a little bit. Okay, let me just see. Okay, perfect. Up there and in the canal and all we have to do guys now, get it tight. Okay, you have to hold uh, the middle, in the middle of the bolt with a hex key the same way and just get the nut tight on front and back and up and down. You can see two bolts, two nuts that you need to get tight. So, uh, from that point on guys, everything else is in reverse order. We took it apart, you need to install your tar, we'll get it tight. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel guys for more videos and see you guys next time.